If you have decided to stop breastfeeding, you may have some questions. One of them is, how long does it take for breast milk to dry up after stopping breastfeeding? In this video, we'll explore the factors influencing this process and tell you what to expect. It's the Mom Hack YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Breast milk production operates on a supply and demand basis. When a baby feeds, it signals the body to produce more milk. Conversely, when breastfeeding decreases or stops, the body receives signals to gradually decrease milk production. Several factors contribute to the timeline of breast milk drying up. These include 1. Frequency of breastfeeding the more often a baby breastfeeds, the longer it may take for milk production to decrease. Conversely, if feedings are less frequent or stop abruptly, the process may be quicker. 2. Duration of breastfeeding. Mothers who breastfeed for an extended period may find that it takes longer for milk production to cease compared to those who breastfeed for a shorter duration. For example, after my first breastfeeding, I had to pump for almost a month. If I didn't do this, I felt discomfort. Therefore, I gradually increase the intervals between pumpings. Remember that pumping is necessary only until relief. If you empty your breasts completely, you are giving a signal to your body that you need more milk. 3. Breast pump use. If a breast pump is used regularly even after stopping direct breastfeeding, it can signal the body to continue milk production. Gradually reducing pumping sessions can help in the drying up process. 4. Supplemental feeding. If the baby is introduced to formula or other forms of supplementation, the reduced demand for breast milk can expedite the drying up process. Timeline for milk drying up. The timeline for breast milk to dry up is variable and individualized. Some mothers may experience a reduction in milk supply within a few days to a week after stopping breastfeeding. For many mothers, it takes around two to four weeks for milk production to significantly decrease. Complete drying up of breast milk may take several weeks to a few months, depending on the factors mentioned above. Norm, leakage or spontaneous release of milk may continue from three to six months after the last breastfeeding. If drops of milk are released when pressing on the nipple, and more time has passed, up to three years, then this is also a variant of the norm. By pressing on the nipple you continue to stimulate the mammary gland, giving a signal to produce milk, so just leave your breasts alone. Not the norm. When the discharge changes color, other alarming symptoms appear, for example, menstrual irregularities or pain. This is not a norm. You need help urgently. Coping with discomfort during finishing of breastfeeding. During the drying up process, some mothers may experience discomfort due to engorgement. So, 1. Gradually reducing breastfeeding sessions instead of stopping abruptly can help the body adjust more comfortably. 2. Applying cold compresses to the breasts can help reduce engorgement and provide relief. 3. Wearing a supportive bra, especially at night, can help manage discomfort. The process of breast milk drying up after stopping breastfeeding is a gradual one, influenced by various factors. Understanding this process and being patient with your body can contribute to a more comfortable process of finishing breastfeeding.